Hey guys, it is Tara. Um, so to can't even start. I can't even get one sentence in without my dog barking. Lord. Um, so today's video, I am just here to tell you about this mascara and kind of ask if anybody else has heard of it or tried it because. I know this brand exists, okay? I know a couple people that have foundation, concealer, um, maybe a couple other things from this brand. This, though, is the only thing I have from this brand. And I think I got it in an Ipsy bag. But I'm in love. Like, I've had it for a while. And honestly, it's been in my makeup bag. I never took it out because I did like it. But, you have to understand, I love mascara. I go through all kinds of different mascaras all the time. So, even though it was in my main makeup bag that I use on the daily, which contains my most favorite makeup, it kind of got shoved to the bottom, and I kind of forgot about it until yesterday. And just look at these eyelashes. Like, well, this one's a little not curled this morning, but... This is from yesterday, this mascara. Yeah, I slept in it, I know. But look at how just, like, fluffed out these ends are. And it's so dark black, which we all know I love. Although, of course, not waterproof. So, it is, I, I can't, I don't even know how to say it. I L. M A K I A G. Anybody heard of this? Anybody used it? Like I, I, I love it. Minus that it's not waterproof, but like no biggie. I can just stick waterproof over it. Um, this is an icon. High volume and intense curl mascara. Mm, okay, let me say this. I don't know if I would consider it to be um, a curling mascara. Um, I did use a curler when I did these. Now, keep in mind, this eye right here in the front was more lifted like this one. Like, this one's still pretty... It was up there yesterday. I just slept on it, you know, so, but hang on, let me, hang on. Yay, fun angle again, because I didn't use my tripod, because I didn't think I'd open it. I'll learn. Anyways, look at this wand, okay, so it's got the, it's the plastic. So it's got those plasticky rubber kind of bristles on it. Can y'all see that? God, my forehead looks so shiny. Ugh. I swear I'm not oily. Feels dry as a Sahara Desert up there, but Jesus, it looks shiny in the light. But, okay, it's got one of these, like... Let me put it in front of my face so it'll see. It's got one of those real plasticky rubber wands. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. But it's not a curl wand. Like, you know, most curl wands are bent. This is stick straight. It's fatter in the middle. And then it goes skinny. I don't know. I don't know about the curling part of this. Um, I would obviously have to try it without a curler to see if it really... Because my eyelashes really don't have any curl to them. They're pretty straight. Um, so it has to be a... It has to be a pretty serious curling, curling mascara with a very uh, big <coughs> wand for me to get a, what I would call a natural curl without <coughs> using a curler. So, I don't know if this is necessarily like curling <coughs> like it says, but man, does it, I love, I, lo I mean, I wish... I wish they were a little more curled. They were yesterday. They looked really great yesterday. They were at attention. And I still feel like they look good today, especially these ends. You know how, like, 
when you do, which keep in mind, I don't do eye looks. I normally stick to one to two shadows, and I just stick it on there. I don't really mess too much with my eyeshadow a lot. Like, to make certain looks, I kind of just do it to add some color to my lids. I don't really, I don't really care, um, you know, about, like, the eye shape. Um, you know, you've got the halo eye, you've got a cat eye, you've got a smoky eye. I don't mess with any of that, really. I stick to the one or two colors just to give a pop of color, just something on my lids. But I did not do that yesterday. All I had on yesterday was this mascara. I tight lined. That's it. I had no top eyeliner, just the tight line in your waterline. And um, highlighter. And that's, oh well, I think I might have put a little blush on, but not, not enough to like, it was like a goldy, golden kind of color blush. So it was, it kind of comes off more bronzy than it does blush because it doesn't have like any type of pink or peach or mauve. It, it's kind of a, it's just a weird color, <laughs> but I love the color for summer. Um, the blush color came in the Betty Boop collection of Ipsy, um, which makes me happy because my girl Bailey Sarian helps, she's on the Ipsy team and she helped do the Betty Boop collection, so that's kind of fun. Um, and you can only get the Betty Boop through Ipsy, but I don't know who, like, who exactly is behind the Betty Boop collection, but it's some beautiful ass makeup. Um... So, the blush palette, it came with like a mauve, a matte mauve color, that goldy, it's like a gold bronzy kind of color, but it's blush. And then it came with this like super light pink sparkly blush. And I really like the, the light pink. It's just not bright enough to show up as anything other than shimmer. So, if I want a real blush look, I'll take the matte mauve and mix it with the sparkly light pink. Um, just to give me some shimmer. You know me. I like shimmer. I like shimmer everything. And, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's a problem. I like it, but the question is, is does it look good having everything on my face be shimmer? Maybe not, but it's what I like. Um, so yeah, so I had on that blush, that Ofra um, bronzer that I got that I really am enjoying. I don't necessarily know that it's the right color for me because it's so kind of silvery in the pan. But I don't think it. I don't think it looks that bad on me. I mean, some highlighters definitely come off. They're just they just look silver. You know what I mean? Like. There's nothing you can do about it. They're so light for your skin tone. They just automatically come off as like silver foil. But I don't think this does on me. If it does, I didn't, I don't know it. So, oops. Um, but yeah, I found this hidden gem in the bottom of my makeup bag. And like I said, I totally forgot I had it. I wouldn't even know where to buy, where do I buy this? Does anybody know? Help me help me, um, I don't know where this is sold, I've never really heard of them, like, I have this, and a friend of mine ordered their foundation and concealer, but I don't know where she ordered it from, and this came in an Ipsy bag, is this an actual brand, is this a standalone brand, is it a good brand, is it an expensive brand, is it a well-known brand? I don't know. I, I've never, I don't know much about them. But, you know, then again, I'm kind of new to the, like, high-end makeup world. <clears throat> Not new. That's a weird term. I've always known about high-end makeup, of course. I've shopped at Sephora since it's been here. Um, and Ulta, we just got an Ulta a few years ago, so... Of course, I've known that, you know, high-end brands, but I've never really been able to venture out and afford them until the last couple years, um, other than, like, one thing here and there, you know what I mean? But now, 
most of my stuff is a little on the, I wouldn't say high end, but on the decent end, you know? Um, but this is one I don't know, guys. Help. Does anybody know? Has anybody tried this? Has anybody tried this brand? And if so, do you like it? Is it, is it considered a high end? Not that I care. It works. I'll buy it again. I don't care if it's $10 or if it's $30. If it works, it works. I'm cool. But I've just never, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know how to pronounce it. And I've never seen it in a store. I've never seen it in Sephora. I've never seen it in Ulta. And honestly, I've never seen it on social media. So where do you get your hands on this shit? Am I alone? Has anybody else heard of these people? Am I crazy? Because I, I don't know, but I like this mascara. <laughs> um, yeah, if they, I know they have foundation and concealer, but you know how I am. I don't really like a thick thing of makeup. But if they sold other stuff, I might look into them. They're, I mean, I really like this mascara. I think my eyelashes look, I think they really looked beautiful yesterday. I still think they look pretty dang good today to have slept on them and look at these outside corners it's like I put false lashes just right here on the edge because they were yesterday they were so flared and big <gasps> it was to die for and they still like I said I think they still look pretty good I may build them up one coat other more one more May put one more coat on them to just kind of try to get them back up there. But otherwise, I'd be cool walking out with this right now. Hey, hey, hey. I don't know. Somebody tell me what in the hell this brand is. And where do I find it? Where do I find it? Because I don't have a clue. Not a clue. Why is my face looking so oily? Nope. Nope. Dude, it doesn't even feel, it doesn't even feel oily or greasy. But boy, is it awful shiny. What the shit? Yeah, there is like nothing, there's no, like, like I'm dry as a bone. Like there's nothing coming off on my hands, but it sure does look shiny in this lot especially right here oh my god what's happening maybe i'm getting a lit from within glow finally maybe is my skincare is my skincare paying off is my skincare paying off is that what this is do i just have like healthy looking skin and i'm just confused because i'm not used to it and it looks shiny to me because I'm not oily. Like, nothing, nothing, there's nothing coming off of my hands. It just feels like my skin. No grease, no oil. I'm not sliding anywhere. No shine. Like, am I finally getting healthy skin other than that stupid pimple that I pick? Because I, you know, I'm a picker. What? Hi, Hiram. Hi, James Wells. Thank you for helping me get glowing skin. Guys, this is the first time I've ever really noticed. My skin is... I'm assuming this is what you would consider a glow. Because it's not oily. I mean, yeah, it looks a little shiny because of the light. But there's no grease or oil. or I'm not, like, sliding all over my face when I touch it. Like, my, it's stopping. I'm not just sliding easy. So, it's not greasy or oily. Oh, I'm, I'm a little excited now. Uh, I think my skincare is working, guys. I'm finally seeing results. <gasps> oh, that makes me happy. Okay, comment below. Let me know if you've heard of this crazy brand that I cannot pronounce to save my life. And where do I find it? Help, help, help. Thanks. Bye, guys.